Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. Well, the Spitfire is all back together, so I'm going to show you some of the details of uh, what I went through and a couple of the modifications and basically uh, close out this project. I hope you like what you see. Um, I've got some more projects coming up in the future and I will uh, bring them to you via YouTube. So the RTMR is completed. I've got four different relays in here. I've left one open for future use. And I've got all of the fuses put in place here. I've figured out what the right sizes are for each of the, uh, each of the fuses. And I'm going between a uh, 230 amp fuses um, in the first two positions and I'm using a combination of 10 amp fuses for the others as or a 15 amp depending upon uh, the application. I'm running a Pertronic style ignition system. There's only one wire that's required to come from the solenoid. Um, it's the white wire with a red tracer and so that goes directly to uh, the ignition switch and that is what engages the uh, starter. So that's it. Um, all the other wiring um, that, uh, used to come, that used to be attached for the ignition on the um, solenoid has been removed uh, from, the, from the wiring harness. With the Pertronic style um, ignition and using a 3 ohm super coil from Lucas. Uh, it's not necessary to have any sort of ballast um, set up. So it really simplifies the wiring. Um, what I've got here, this is the negative side of the coil. That's the positive side of the coil. The uh, Petronics module, which is inside the distributor cap, um, has two wire leads that come out of it. One is the negative side, so it's the, the black wire, and the red wire is the positive side. So the only other two wires that need to be hooked up is a white with a slate or, or the gray tracer, and that's for um, the uh, tachometer, so that goes directly to the tack. And the other is, ign is the, an ignition wire which is turned on with the ignition switch. So I've got a positive um, white wire going into the coil and that powers the ignition module inside of the distributor cap and that's all you need so it really simplifies the the wiring system so just a summary black wire and um, ignition or the uh, tachometer wire on the negative side and on the positive side you've got the red wire to the ignition module and uh, the power from the ignition. That's it. I took care of the old hole where the uh, original fuse box was and I've closed that off basically just using a piece of sheet metal and some cork gasket. Um, I just uh, sized it to the hole, drilled two additional holes here in the bulkhead um, and then just installed it in place. Uh, it's a nice uh, watertight um, connection. So overall I think this installation went well. I've removed a couple of components that I don't use or don't need. I've, I've removed the windshield washer uh, fluid system and I've also removed the heater core. Again, I'm in Florida and uh, I don't need a heater so I'm good with that. This looks pretty much uh, stock uh, in, in its appearance. So not a whole lot of um, visual cue if you don't know what you're looking at. Um, what I really like is um, most of the wiring on the on the in the uh, on the bulkhead area has been uh, cleaned up significantly. Um, we've got the uh, just as a reminder, we've got now an electric fan hooked up. Um, the electric fan is always powered, so the fan will run just like a modern car. Um, after the ignition is turned off if cooling is needed, so that's a nice plus. The original horns are hooked up with the, the original wiring. Um, they're they've work, working now 
a lot better than they have in the past. So every time I push the the button on the the steering column, the horn button on the steering column, it works. So that's a that's a nice plus. For the headlight wiring inside the bonnet, I've left that stock. Uh, again, that's been significantly improved uh, because of the relay inside the RTMR. So that's working a lot better as well. I've solved my flasher problem as well. Last episode I was not able to um, get the flashers to work um, and what I ended up uh, realizing is I needed a little bit more resistance in the system. Um, I left the original flashing uh, relay in place and uh, I made sure that I, I still have the um, LEDs as the, the tail light but I left the in, uh, incendiary bulbs um, um, up in the front flasher and I'll show you what that looks like and those are working uh, well um, but that provides the resistance I needed in order to get um, the entire flashing system working so I've got the original style bulbs in the front and I've got the LED bulbs in the rear one of the modifications I did uh, to the car was to add footwell lighting and the, this footwell lighting is turned on whenever the um, running lights are turned on. So these are the LED lights that I use for the footwell lighting. What I really like about these lights is that they are magnetic. So I don't have to worry about attaching them somehow inside the footwell. And I can move them around as I want to optimize the, the lighting. Um, these LED lights also come with 10 feet of positive and negative um, wires so you've got a lot of uh, uh, flexibility in putting them in. I actually think I'm going to use these types of LED lights in the in the boot at some point as well. So I hope you enjoyed that project. I feel a lot more confident in my car uh, at this point and I, I feel like I've solved a, ma a major safety issue both for me personally as well as for the long-term longevity of, uh, of this car. Um, I am no longer concerned about having a, an electrical fire. So um, I think all in all it's positive. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, taking on this project. I certainly know my electrical system a heck of a lot better than, um, than I did in the past. And it's given me some confidence to do some additional uh, projects uh, from an electrical standpoint on my car. So I may uh, eventually put in some more LED lighting for the interior or in the in the boot. Um, I'm also thinking about the possibility of adding on some um, some fog lights in the front uh, to provide a little bit better visibility um, during uh, you know <laughs> bad weather conditions. So um, again if you like what you're seeing please uh, uh, click the subscribe button. I appreciate the support and all the, the, the great comments I'm getting from people and uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more work and sharing it with you. Say hi to Ella. <laughs>